I like characters that challenge an audience. Uh, and Coriolanus is in the mold of a classic tragic hero. I mean, tr um, they are flawed, and they are, and it's their fatal flaw which brings them down. I've always been attracted to this man who challenges an audience to, res to resist him, but actually they come to see that he has a kind of integrity which is manipulated and destroyed by the world around him and by his own arrogance and his own pride. But he's like a lost child, I think, like a sort of angry young boy in a man's body. Um, but I think Shakespeare wants us to have a complicated reaction to him and it, the play. He's riven, you know, he's, and he's happiest on the, on, in the battlefield, I think. That's where he's at one with himself, killing people. I think I like I like him, but I'm I, I guess I'm. But it's, it's more than that. It's a, it's an obsession. It's a fascination. I guess I've had this this film in in me for a long time, and have thought about it for a long time, and have just thought about. I mean, I suppose I have been curious and curious about <laughs> directing, um, as I've been involved working with great directors as an actor. And I guess something in you grows that you feel you want to be the person who's guiding the telling of the story and creating the images in the world and the choices being made. So as a director, you're looking at the, the overall thing. You're seeing its shape, you're anticipating the rhythm of it or anticipating the editing and the move, and you're looking at other performances and then suddenly to be in a scene, to be within the mind, the thought, the body of the character, usually as an actor, that's all you have to think about. You're ready, waiting to do it. Um, and that's been the challenge. It's been amazing to have come this way over pretty much three years of, I think, proposing it to her as, uh, and would she like to do it? And now uh, she's been and done it and been beyond great, and it's in the can. <laughs> Brian Cox, um, fantastic. I love Brian, loved his work for a long time. Plays Menenius, who's the advisor, sort of, of, sort of an uncle, a father figure, but he's not the father. He's like a father figure to Coriolanus, and he's brilliant in it. I've been amazingly fortunate in getting Gerard Butler to bring his incredible presence and masculinity and charisma to the role of Ophidius. Um, and now that I'm shooting, I see these really strong spirits holding. There are sort of four, there are four leads, really. It's Coriolanus, Aphidius, Volumnia, Menenius. They're the four linchpin parts. That our Rome is not Rome, Italy. Our Rome is a city today. And we're shooting in Belgrade, and it Belgrade for me could be lots of cities that I've been to, you know. It, it, it is Eastern European, but it could be bits of London, it could be bits of Brooklyn or Queens or even bits of Shanghai. I mean, modern, post-Second World War, modern architecture. The Asset gives you a huge adrenaline. And it's been, it's, very, it's been rewarding and exciting to see ideas that I've had come alive. And that's thrilling, and so that gives you, it feeds you with energy on the day.